Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today we are looking at another killer Steve Lukather lick taken from a live version of Rosanna from the 40 Tours Around the Sun DVD. The licks I'm going to teach you come from the outro solo slash jam and the thing that I love about Rosanna is that every time Luke starts this solo he does something slightly different. So if you jump between anywhere from the 80s to mid 90s to now it's never exactly the same and this particular one is one of my absolute favorites it's a little tricky from a phrasing point of view but it's worth it it's worth putting the time on this one because it sounds really really great now let's get into it the lovely thing about this section of the song is that it's essentially a extended mixolydian vamp which means that anything that we extract from this is very easy to take forward into other contexts, even into standard 12 bar blues type scenarios. Anything where there is an underlying dominant seventh harmony, this stuff is going to work great. And as I've mentioned before in other videos where we've been doing stuff in Mixolydian, really we are looking at a scale that is the combination of the major and minor pentatonic scale and that's why we see elements of both appearing in this solo. Okay, so the opening lick of this solo is probably my favorite. We've got this great kind of altered dominant thing going on. Which we start off by sliding into the major third of G, which is the ninth fret of the B string. And then we move through the flat seven on the 10th fret of the G. And then we are grabbing a note outside of the key, which is this D flat which is a flat five. This is gonna be our anchor point from which we perform a couple of pull-offs. So to start off with, we reach up to the flat seven on the 13th fret of the E. And then we drop to the major sixth. Okay, still keeping our index finger on the ninth fret of the E. We pull off from the 10th fret with our middle finger and then we move our middle finger to the 10th fret of the B and then bounce back to the E string. So we're kind of between the 10th fret of the B and the 9th fret of the E. Now that last phrase of four notes, we now move it down um, so that we are starting on the 8th fret and now dropping to the 7th. So essentially the whole assembly moves down one tone. Now at this point, um, the phrasing gets really interesting because we get this kind of slightly staggered, almost triplet style thing. Okay, which I'll do it with uh, a kind of pulse being kept with my foot. Two, three, four, one. And we're using a little bit of chromaticism here again. So we are starting at the major second, moving through the minor third to the major third. And then playing the root to the flat seven on the B string, which is eighth fret to sixth fret. So we get this. Okay, to finish off this section of the solo, we're just revisiting three of those notes. We're grabbing the fifth fret of the E, the eighth fret of the B, and then the sixth fret. So we get. One thing we see Luke do a lot of is sequencing, is taking part of a scale, um, choosing a grouping of three or four or five, and then moving that grouping through the scale. At this point, we're gonna move back into the third position and play this hammer on and pull off lick where I'm choosing to do it with my ring finger and we're gonna hammer from the fifth to the sixth fret and then pull off again. All the way down to the third fret. And then from the third fret of the B, we're again pulling off from the fifth fret, which we strike, pull off and then re-strike. So we get And then Luke mirrors this phrase, and this is something that we see a lot, and we talk about it a lot, 
where we take a similar rhythmic or melodic arc and then we move it to a different place, either up an octave, down an octave, um, slightly further down the scale in this case, where we are starting at the second fret of the G, again, hammering up a half step, pulling off, pulling off. This time just landing on the second fret of the G. And then he uses this as a transition point into the next lick. Luke pulls off to the open G string. And then brings in one of his faux slide licks. So um, up to that point, we get this. At this point, we scoop into the fourth fret of the G with the bar. And then while that string is still ringing out, we're gonna grab the third fret of the B and dip it. Now, you don't have to be too specific with the pitch because this all happens very quick, but we repeat that figure twice. And then finish it with another scoop at the fourth fret of the G and then grabbing the root note with our ring finger. So we get. And then we're taking that dyad figure, which is the root in the major third of G. And then we move it down chromatically one fret at a time until we end up at F. Up to that point, we have this. Now things get a little more, I suppose, uh, predictable from this point inwards, but there's still some great phrasing going on. So we start off with almost a, a blues cliche of bending the fifth fret of the G and then rolling across the third fret of the B and E strings. At this point we grab the minor third and we bend it a microtone, it's a blues bend. From there, root to flat seven, third fret of the E to sixth fret of the B. So quick disclaimer, on this next lick, I hear something which I can't see on the video footage. So possibility that I'm hallucinating, quite possible. Um, but also it could be that maybe the video is taken from a different edit. So. I'm gonna teach you what I can hear, which is after this kind of blues lick, that we slide all the way up to the 13th fret and then grab the 13th fret of the E above the B string. So we get. Okay, I think I hear the F, I might be insane, who knows. Um, from here, We have this um, really lovely melodic idea, which really highlights the um, perfect fourth and the major third, um, which again is kind of like bringing out that major quality of Mixolydian more than the minor. So for this, we start off by linking this pre-bend in, which is taking the 13th fret of the B, pre-bending it a tone, and then landing on the 12th fret of the B string. So we get, And then we are bouncing back and forth between the C and the B. Okay, which sounds like this in context. So again, we see Luke resolving a phrase to a chord tone here. He jumps up to the 15th fret of the B string, which is the perfect fifth in the key of G. So we've had all this kind of wacky outside stuff, and then there is a sense of resolution, tension, and release. Okay, in this space of these last couple of phrases, we see two more classic Luke ideas. The first is, from the 15th fret of the B, we have one of those almost saxophone-like Jay Graydon things that we hear Luke do all the time, which is we are lingering for a second on the 15th fret of the B, and then we are pulling off chromatically 14, 13, 12. Okay, from here we have a group of four, 
all within the scale, starting at the 15th rep, we have 15, 13, 12, and 10, which is gonna be the perfect fifth, fourth, major third, and major second. And then we do exactly the same thing, but starting on the 13th. Now, um, Luke does this kind of staggered falling down the stairs thing here, where it, it kind of, he moves through a couple of different subdivisions, um, and then he kind of goes off and on and goes as fast as he can. And this is where I um, checked out and just kind of did my own thing. So this is the last kind of official um, loop lick of this lesson. So all together, um, we have this. <laughs> And that's it, okay? From there, you're, you're on your own, guys. <laughs> I, I started looking at it, I'm like, no. <laughs> um, I still can't quite figure out how, how Luke does some of his fastest stuff, like in the Starlix video, his, uh, his picking is actually really, really quick. So that's a lesson for another day. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I actually worked out two more live versions from this sort of transitional section to Luke's outro solo. And I'm going to be uploading at least one of these, if not both, to my Patreon page. So if you want some more Rosanna Licks, go and check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. Okay, guys, have a great week. I will see you guys soon. Take it easy. <laughs>